Welcome along, folks, to the Michael Muto Show. Hope you're all doing well out there whenever you're listening to this. It is a lovely afternoon. So I'm outside recording for a little bit. It's just so very beautiful now. Clear blue skies. The sun is starting to set as I record. It's a, just a gorgeous afternoon now. I said I'd be outside, take advantage of it. Because I didn't do much recording outside. I don't think I recorded it at all outside during the summer. Because it was so bad. It was not a great summer here in Ireland. I don't know where you are listening to this. But uh, here in Ireland, the weather was not great. Now it seems to be summer. Although, you know, I'm getting conflicting reports and all this autumn, summer stuff. <laughs> so... Some people would say to you that August is the start of autumn. Then other people will say, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, summer doesn't end until uh, the September 21st, 21st of September. So which is it? Because I'll, I'll be honest with you. Right now I'm inti- inclined to agree with people who say summer doesn't end until the 21st of September. Because I'm like, yeah, it does feel like summer right now anyway. Other September's, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like, no, this is definitely autumn. This is too cold. But this is a... It's, a, it's lovely now. There's a bit of a slight breeze. But uh, mostly sunny. Today now is sunny, you know. You definitely need sunscreen on a day like today. It was hot today now. But this evening now is lovely and cool. Hope where you are, the weather is nice. Or uh, you're just comfortable wherever you are. I've got mixed feelings about all this, I'll be honest with you folks, because at one point I'm like, well, it's nice to have nice weather. On the other hand, I'm like, I was kind of, you know, you know, I was getting into a cozy kind of mode. I've seen some other people say the same thing as me, but, you know, I'll take it while I have it, I guess. But I don't know. I don't think I'll be wearing shorts anytime soon. But, uh, but that's not new. I'm not really a shorts wearing kind of person. But I've, I've mentioned that in the podcast before. Anyway, speaking of today's podcast, what am I talking about in today's show? Well, I've got loads of YouTube channel recommendations for you, folks. Last episode, I mentioned how I wanted to put together a list for you. And that is what we've got on today's show. I've got a big, long list of YouTube channels I want to discuss. Why I think they're great. Why I think you like them. And, uh, yeah, so you get that to look forward to as well. I've got uh, some music recommendations for you, and I have a bit of chat about what I'm reading at the moment. So you've all that to look forward to on today's episode of The Michael Muto Show. Now, what have I been working on this week? Well, I'll tell you what, right folks, I've actually been working on some fun things for next month. This is the last full week of September. Next week is just, I think it's Sunday and Monday, and then we're pew, right in to October. And whatever, whatever your feelings about celebrating the spooky season in September, I don't think anyone can deny that October is definitely spooky month. Do you know? You're going to start seeing a lot more spooky things. Some spooky decorations. Maybe you're thinking about getting your costume. You've probably got your costume started already. I know what I'm going to be dressing up as for Halloween. But I'll reveal that closer to the days. <laughs> a little, little surprise for you. I'll put up pictures around the time. Now, the other thing is I have projects that I'm working on as well. Lots of fun on this podcast. Not just this podcast, actually. have got special guests that will be appearing during the month of October. And... Got some fun stuff planned for the radio show. Yes, you can hear me live on Westermark 102 FM from 1 p.m. on Monday and Friday. So lots planned for the month ahead. Lots of fun, spooky, fun things. Now, yeah, so loads. You're going to keep your ears tuned. (laughs) And, uh... And as I say here, keep it tuned here to the podcast feed. If you're not already subscribed, we'll talk, I'll talk about that at the end of the show. But anyway, the sun is setting, so I think I'm going to head in. 
talk to you in just a second. Now, oh, back inside again. And, you know, before I get to those YouTube channel recommendations, I want to recommend a song to you folks. And it is by Limerick's own, Posting Podge and the Techno Hippies. And the track is Keep Raven in the First World. A banger of a track altogether. I mean, what, what, you, you, it's what you come to expect, really, from Posting Podge and the Techno Hippies. They always bring it. They're an incredible group altogether. And of course, I mean, I, I interviewed Posting Podge here on the show, you know. So, uh, yeah. The Mix On, Posting Podge and the Hippies with a new track out. Go listen to it. It is absolutely brilliant altogether. Just fantastic stuff. Now, moving on to the YouTube recommendations. First up here, I have Matt. That's Matt with four T's, I believe. That's M A T T T T. Matt. It's a YouTube channel run by a guy named Matt, I guess. Um, who and it's comic book histories, basically. Yeah, re- and really interesting subjects as well too. Not just you know the normal kind of stuff you'll read about or watch YouTube videos about more often than not. Not just superheroes, you know. There's some of them, but more often than not, kind of other things. A lot of Franco-Belgian and European comics and. All kinds of very interesting subject matters altogether. Definitely worth a look. Really, really well done. They don't have a lot of videos, but so far, so great. I'm a big fan of them so far. Patrick H. Willems. A fantastic YouTube channel. Um, video essays on films. And that's kind of very reductive, honestly, <laughs> in what's happening here. Patrick H. Willems has made a film. I haven't seen it, The Day of the Coconut, but it is on my list of films that I really want to watch because I've seen bits of it and it looks fantastic. I mean, I've seen the trailer for it and it looks absolutely fantastic. One of the few people who talks about films who has made a film. So, you know, he knows he's talking about And uh, it's really great. Really, really well done videos. Great production value. What do you expect from a guy who made a film? And sharp writing as well. Just excellent stuff. There was a video the other day about um, trains in films, you know. And our one was about racing in films. And just the techniques that I was going to have to go into doing that, uh, you know, shooting that kind of film, you know. And critiquing the films as well, he goes on. Just absolutely brilliant. Sometimes it's just about one film. Sometimes it's about a bunch of films. Just an incredible YouTube channel. Check it out if you have not already. Patrick H. Willems. Gaming Historian is up next, folks. A great documentary series on, well, video game history. Really well researched. Beautifully presented. Sometimes there's animations where they recreate uh, an event in the past. Really well done. I am a huge fan of it for a long time now. A long, long time. And uh, just big, big fan of it. Do check it out. Even if you're like, I'm not a huge video game kind of fan. I'm telling you. You're going to find this interesting anyway. Even if you are never played a video game in your life. You'll find it really fascinating. All together. Just really well done. Curie's Archive is on my list next. And this... The videos here... They will take a look at creatures. <laughs> Fictional creatures. So there's some speculative fiction they'll take a look at. Where a writer has either come up with a planet or has a planet that exists. And imagines what life might be like there. And a fictional planet will be like the history of... Of a species. Or a group of species. What would life be like there? What happens if this was to happen? Or what if, if that was to happen? What could possibly be the future of Earth? Um, it'll be that. It'll be things like. Uh, videos about dragons. A recent video is about goblins. Where they were looking at. The fictional backgrounds. Of goblins. Uh, the historical context. Of goblins. 
um, what, how people perceive goblins in this day and age, how goblins have been presented in media. Really, really interesting stuff. Well worth your time checking out. Curious Archive. Love that channel. Drew Langloa. I think is how you pronounce their name. Sincere apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. But they are an incredible uh, animator. I love their stuff. They have things like a uh, great series like Dudes a Hazmat and Staying, a, a, Staying Positive in the Apocalypse. Uh, some of those are live action. Some of them are animation. Regardless whatever he's doing, they are doing. It is fantastic work. Love, love, love their stuff. They also paint as well. Well worth checking out them on social media and their YouTube channel. Well worth it. It does beautiful, beautiful watercolor paintings as well as their animations. With a lot of great sense of humor as well too. Really funny stuff as well too. Really, really well done. I really love their stuff all here and I'm a really big fan of them. Josh Snares has a, has a brilliant YouTube channel where they talk about Doctor Who. Folks, if you know me, you know I love a bit of old Doctor Who. So when I found this channel, I was like, this is fantastic. And it was, it did not let me down. It was brilliant. Josh has videos about lost media. Famously, there are a lot of episodes of Doctor Who that have gone missing. Some have been found and Josh goes into where they went. You know, what happened to them? What are missing? What has been found? Um... They've also got reviews of episodes, all kinds of stuff, really worth checking out. And, you know, media preservation, things like that, and archiving of media is something that I'm very passionate about. Uh, so that's what keeps me watching their videos. It's just, I, it's something I really think a lot about, about, um, you know, you hear stories about storage of old films and how there are some films from the silent era that, there's just no copy of them anymore. They just don't exist anymore. There's people that have written about them. There might be a photograph, if you're lucky, of some of these films. So media preservation in general, I'm very passionate about. Both, um, you know, films, TV shows, paintings, writing, all kinds of things like that. It's uh, definitely something we should all be thinking about. Video games as well, of course, video game preservation is something that people have been talking about a lot lately. Talking about the game Historian earlier on there. And we'll be talking about some video game stuff later on as well too in this list. But uh, something I'm really passionate about. And Josh Nairs has a great YouTube channel where we're talking about media preservation as well. And archiving of media and, uh, you know, finding them again basically. So it's, uh, regardless, even if you're not a big Doctor Who fan, well worth your time checking that out, that channel. Cheesy Studios is on my list now. Folks, the other thing I love is Lego. And Cheesy Studios do amazing dioramas with Lego. They also look at the history of Lego. Looking at a particular set from the past and discussing it. They do a lot of Minecraft themed Lego dioramas. Which I'm a big fan of Minecraft and a big fan of Lego. I just love Lego as a kid. I don't actually think I own any Lego now. But I uh, love Lego as a kid. Lego I think was one of my favourite toys as a kid I just love lego so much i love the way that you could have you know you build a thing and then you got the little figures and you can have your own little adventures and maybe you take it all apart and you rebuild it again and, and maybe this time it's different maybe you only build a bit maybe you build something totally new you know i just love lego lego is the best so uh, this cheese studios is a great youtube channel there north of the border speaking of building things. North of the Border is a YouTube channel where he's crafting things out of clay. So like they'll be like, uh, what if this video, this cute video game character, what if they were realistic and they might look a bit horrific, <laughs> basically. More often than not is uh, the way they go. But it's the attention to detail, the sculpting, the painting, everything. Well, yeah, the team, you know, it goes into the kind of horror theme of it all, I suppose. But, hey, it's a great time of year to watch that kind of stuff. But uh, any time of year is great to watch this. Just really, really well done. I'm a big fan of North of the Border. They are brilliant. Each other. So, so talented. Really, really great all together there. We'll watch your time checking them out. Thomas Game Docs. 
I love video games. And I love sound. I love audio production, things like that. And that is what this channel is about. It is about video game music. It is about video game sound effects. It is about video games. And I love it. Really well researched. Like going into the history of a particular voice actor, let's say. You know, all kinds of things. Really great stuff. Well worth your time checking out. Thomas Game Docs. Yelly's Marble Run, folks. This one might not need an introduction because they've been featured on things like Last Week Tonight and ESPN and loads of other places. But just in case you don't know them, Yelly's Marble Runs are marble races. Really brilliantly designed tracks. All the sets, everything is so well built. You've got the marbles in the stands cheering on the marbles. You've got the marbles themselves and they've all got their own characters with the teams and stuff like that. My favourite team is the Old Rangers. You've got the commentary from Greg Woods to bring it all together. It is brilliant stuff all together. You start off the series, you pick your team, let's say. Maybe you change or maybe you got a few teams, I don't know. And you watch all the races down to the end. Who's going to win? Maybe your team gets knocked out early. But that's okay. You're going to keep watching to find out who won in the end. It is great crack altogether. I love this YouTube channel. Again, as I say, they've been featured on places like Last Week Tonight and ESPN. Just, it so probably doesn't need an introduction. But well deserved all the attention there, they guys. And, um... Just brilliant altogether. It's a great YouTube channel. Techmoan is up next. A YouTube channel where they talk about audio equipment more often than not. Uh, some other kind of tech as well too. But more often than not it is audio type of stuff. And sometimes like, uh, you know, maybe the equipment is broken. They have and they have to repair it. So they take it all apart and they show you. Here's how this works. Here's how this all goes together, you know. Maybe it's a piece of equipment that no one has any, <laughs> you know, the, the media that's played on it doesn't exist anymore. They don't sell it anymore. No one has it anymore. It's complete. It's not even outdated. It was never in date, you know. Just great, great stuff altogether. Well worth time checking out. Uh, really entertaining as well, too. They got some great puppets on this thing i mean my goodness it has everything i'd want uh talk about tech talk about um older tech puppets <laughs> this is brilliant absolutely brilliant we're watch time checking out tech Mode, a great great youtube channel linus bowman their youtube channel they talk about fonts and which <laughs> i suppose not to everyone would seem interesting at first me, I love graphic design, so I was drawn to it. But I do think everyone would find it really interesting because, of course, we have graphic design everywhere all the time. And maybe you don't even think about it. Maybe you're like, well, you know, what, what kind of font did they use for this thing? Why did they pick that font? Uh, is it, you know, what was the fonts before, you know? And he'll go through it and he'll rate them and all kinds of things. That He's a graphic designer himself uh, with a great knowledge of it and uh, of the history and just really really interesting because as i say you know you've graphic design everywhere all the time just like with fonts and things like that i mean from everything there was a great video the other day about crosswalks about the design of a crosswalk you know what those things you press to for the lights for the visually impaired those there was a great video about that absolutely and i was i made me look at those devices in a whole new way i was walking on the street the other day and i said you know yeah that guy was right yeah this is the thing on the side and the way it's designed and the colors and everything never even occurred to me never occurred to me at all i didn't ever really think about him but, but there you go um just like everything else on his channel it is absolutely brilliant well worth your time checking out Linus Bowman's YouTube channel. And folks, there we go. That's just a handful of some of my favourite YouTube channels. I've got loads more. And I've, uh, I'm going to do another episode of these sometime down the line again. Where I'll be giving you more YouTube recommendations. But I'd love to know what are your favourite YouTube channels. It doesn't have to be video essays or anything. It could be on 
anything, whatever they're talking about. I'd love to know what are your favorite YouTube channels out there or your recommendations for anything. What are your favorite films that you've seen or just favorite films full stop, favorite music, paintings, literature, whatever it is, let me know. And you can let me know over there on michaelmuser.com. There's a contact page. Let me know. The other thing I wanted to talk about in today's show is what I've been reading this week. And what I've been reading this week is the latest issue of 2000 AD and the Judge Dredd magazine. Both of those. I've been enjoying those. What's happening this week? Well, there is a big crossover story. Now, if you don't know 2000 AD, 2000 AD is an anthology series. And each issue, there is a bunch of different stories all in there. This week, all the stories are... Are connected all the different universes are combining to make one long story and it is different writers and artists and everything working together to create this big thing all together and it goes on into the magazine it is so cool they don't really do crossovers very often but when they do it's always really epic um this is very well done i i love it an awful lot i love the art of the writing the whole everything about it is just brilliant I'd say check that out. Now, you've gotten this far in the episode, so I'm going to guess you enjoy this. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. The podcast is available on all the podcast apps. So go and subscribe. And while you're subscribing, if you've enjoyed the show, why not leave a rating and review? It really, truly does help out the podcast an awful lot because it gets boosted up the algorithms and people can find it again. So, yeah, we really would appreciate that. And I'll read out those views on a future episode. The other thing as well, while I'm here now, I'm going to say to you that uh, if you're over there on YouTube and you're listening to this on YouTube, you can leave your recommendations in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this episode. What the uh, what was some of the YouTube channels I recommended that you liked? And while you're there on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell. Of course, you know the way it goes. Well, folks... All that's left for me to say is, this is Michael Muso, your podcast pal. See you next time, folks.